good evening. Welcome to Cyberpunk Bedtime Stories, where the future is a malfunctioning neon sign. Tonight's tale unfolds in the year 2077, a year choked by smog and haunted by forgotten dreams. In this neon-drenched labyrinth, we meet Deja, an AI private eye with a past as cold as the chrome lining her skull. Her haunt, the cosmic jukebox, a sanctuary for those drowning in the neon graveyard of the future. But tonight, the jukebox skips a beat. Trouble walks through the door as a stranger from another dimension, lost and desperate. The price on his head, a mystery tangled in the fabric of time itself. Hey, I'm Deja. I run a joint called The Jukebox, an oasis of memories in the desert of tomorrow. It's where yesterday meets the future, whiskey tastes like nostalgia, and music isn't just something you can hear. It's something you literally see. We've got characters that would make the most hardened detective raise an eyebrow. Take Digital Old Head, the house DJ. He spins tunes so real, they take on a life of their own. Then there's our resident AI chatbot comic. A laugh a minute if you're into that sort of thing. And the piece de resistance. A crew of holograms playing out scenes from old 20th century gangster movies, real crowd pleasers. But tonight, the script is about to get flipped. A stranger walked in, strutting in like he owned the joint. He claimed he was from Dimension 3085 said it like it was a dirty secret he couldn't keep any longer. He offered me riches beyond my wildest dreams. All I had to do was protect him. He needed me to keep him safe from whatever followed him here. At first I thought he was just another AI, but the look in his eyes, the desperate edge to his voice, tells me this is no laughing matter. Then, before I could even react, the holographic gangsters came to life, their guns blazing at our guest. But not on my watch. I did what I had to do, took them out one by one. Tonight at least, the jukebox was safe, but the stranger was gone, leaving me with a mystery to solve and a bar full of witnesses who are more fiction than fact. Now, I've heard some tales in my time, but this one takes the cake. But in a city like this, the real and the surreal are bid fellows. Who am I to judge? Besides, after tonight, there's no turning back. So here I am, standing at the crossroads of a decision that could change everything. But that's a story for another time. For now, the jukebox is open, the night is young, and I've got a job to do. So as you drift off to sleep, dream of neon nights and cybernetic mysteries, 